Alright, hello everyone. So this is the long overview overview of the coop. Get them out. So this coop was designed based off of SSL Family Dad's uh, coop. I just kind of modified to our backyard. Um, you can't see but the bottom is uh, two by six standing up and then we buried it with wood chips um, this little A-frame was a mobile coop that I built last summer we tried our hand at some meat birds um, we kind of realized we don't have the space for it so we just attached it and gave the girls more more room um, made a little door I modified SSL's coop, a little dirty. Um, I got rid of the slide out and just made too much of a mess. Um, I kept our boards even and that way there's less fighting. Um, I put insulation everywhere, well almost everywhere, best I could help in the winter time. Um, we went from 4 to 11. Um, they're only in here at night, and it's kind of small. And then, you see the nest boxes. Try to hit those. And then up top, got some insulation, or uh, ventilation. I started it with just open in the back, and then here in the front, um, I learned kind of quickly that that wasn't enough. So I added more. Hello, girls. Um, inside, I added a little bar and the chill. Got a heated water hanging. Um, for our dust bath, we just use uh, sand. Uh, I'll throw some diatomaceous earth in there. And it's kind of that. Uh, they do their own thing in the run, and that, and also doubles as their grit. Um, this can come, the ladder can come off to clean it. Uh, we went with the omelet door. We love the omelet. Makes life so much easier, especially in winter time. I have this little bowl hanging here. I'll put calcium in there, and they can kind of grab that whenever they want. It goes all the way under. Let's see. And here's a little A-frame. Like I said, we added this on. It would have been very tight for 11 chickens in here. Um, I'm going to hop up on there. And it's just another place for them to hang out. Um, the roof is just OSB, it's hard to see, but it also has this plastic on it. And then, for a predator apron, these racks sort of double as your predator apron. And then there is, let's see, where is it, right here, I don't know if you can see, but right here. That comes two feet out, kind of all over, to give them some more protection. Um, you kind of see the vent holes right there. That's for winter time. Ventilation is key. Let's see, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, right there. There's no such thing as too much ventilation. Chickens do better in the winter than they do the summertime, so... You don't have to worry about them getting cold. Um, we do have... some lights in here. Um, kind of running underneath, just a little rope light. Give them a little bit more... light. It sort of worked. Um, just helps. 
what do you think? Less confusion. It's springtime, so we're gonna get rid of those shortly. Um, and then we got wood chips in here. Help build compost. You just call your local tree company. They drop them off for free. Um, we sort of line this back area. It's all built up here. Um, pretty soon, we're going to clean all those out. And then throw more in. Let them compost those. And use the compost from inside on the garden eventually. Um, we have a compost in that back corner. And then up against the house, we have two spinny compost bins. We'll throw what's in the coop in there. Let them, and these two, let them kind of compost up some more. And then we'll use them in the garden. But that's the quick tour. Um, as far as feeders, you saw the water. We are fermenting right now. Um, so we bring food out to them every morning. And then I have this for omelet. I don't use it as much. We have just a big freestanding feeder that I'll put right here um if you go on vacation or something someone will come check on them every few days and there's plenty of food in there um yeah sorry if the camera makes it a little nauseous I'm not used to videoing while on the move but if you have any questions let us know Thank you guys for stopping by today and joining in on our journey here at Bourbon's Living. We'll catch you on the next one.